The objective of this challenge was to intercept an incoming projectile on a moment's notice. The Red Team's success relied on the idea of filling the sky with a cloud of steel pellets to take down that incoming projectile. As time began to run short, the Red Team reduced their cannon barrels from 80 to 60. They still could have launched a lot of missiles had they thought to load multiple bullets into each one. In fact, if they'd loaded a series of different sizes, the smaller, lighter ones would have gone faster and further and given them a much greater spread for their protective cloud to intercept that incoming projectile. The blue team took a really fun approach, and their idea was to spin a propeller fast enough that it would launch into the sky and take out the incoming missile. The problem is, the motor didn't go with it, so once it disconnected, it didn't have enough energy to hardly get skyward at all. The propellers that Blue Team used actually came from windmills and they mounted the, the blades at different angles to try to maximize the lift. While it was in the stand, the Blue Team's propeller was powered by a, a 50 horsepower electric motor. But once it disconnected, it was on its own. The shaft was heavy, almost too heavy to lift, but that doesn't store energy. How could they have overcome that problem? If they had added some weight at the outside, then when they spun it up, it would have kept going and would have been able to sustain its speed as it went airward. How could they have done that, practically speaking? This ring out here is at the outside, and kinetic energy is stored as a function of velocity and also the distance from the center of spin. The heavy element is on the outside, and that builds up spinning energy, which in this case would have continued their propeller's journey into the sky. 